Hi, ever wondered how to build a sales funnel spreadsheet? That is a sales funnel in a spreadsheet? Let me show you a few tips. My first tip is don't. Use a free cloud-based CRM or a proper CRM instead. But if you really have to, set up the columns to track the basic data, create a stacked bar chart, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment, add columns for the buyer's journey, for each stage in the buyer's journey, including leaked, learn how to analyze for lag and leakage by stage, again, I'll show you how to do that, and add fields for salesperson and lead source so that you can do comparison by each of those. Let me show you how to do all of that now. There's a nifty set of steps that you can take to create a funnel-like image in a spreadsheet that automatically formats. I'll include a link to this great article from Excel Campus in the show notes after a brief explanation of what funnel means. Basically, you create a stacked bar chart. You then invert the stacked bar chart because it's upside down. You create these spaces, and basically spaces are uh, fillers that creates this orange centered. Details not important for now, it's all spelled out in the article. There we go, we've now got the funnel looking kind of funnel-like, and then you can hide the, uh, the blue and change the gap to zero. So the effect of that is to create a funnel that looks kind of like that. You can then format it for presentation, including numbers. It auto formats, of course. Neat little trick. I also found for you um, a little article on building a spreadsheet to manage your funnel. Basically, the argument here is that it gives you good grounding in Opportunity Management 101. If you don't need good grounding, skip it. If you need good grounding, maybe consider this article and its recommendations. Again, it's in the show notes. Some of the options that I found, and again, include in the show notes, aren't quite as automated as others, but give you a good breakdown by product. Let me show you what I mean by that. I have to zoom this in a bit. Basically, you can look at opportunities by product, by service line, or by client. And if your spreadsheet is set up correctly, this one shows you a download that you can consider. Um, in a moment, I'll tell you why you shouldn't do that, but uh, if you really want to do it, uh, you can download the spreadsheet and it gives you a breakdown by product as well as by company. Next one I found is basically a really good argument as to why you shouldn't even bother. And it's that that I think is the most useful advice. Basically, building a sales funnel spreadsheet is a dumb idea. Do it in a CRM. In fact, let me show you just quickly. Another article I found you, the 25 best free CRM applications. Basically, don't build a spreadsheet, do it in a free CRM. So basically, don't use a spreadsheet. There are many excellent CRMs and even some free ones that are good enough. But if you really have to, set up columns to track the basic opportunity data that you would normally. Then create a stacked bar chart, I showed you how to do that, including the hidden field spaces to center your bars. Add columns for each stage in the buyer's journey, including leaked, formatted for date to calculate lag by stage. Learn how to analyze for lag and leakage by stage and add fields for salesperson and lead source so that you can compare those lag and leakage data for each of these new values. Let me show you what I mean about lag and leakage. In this spreadsheet, I've added in the very basic information that you always have in closed date, etc. Added salesperson or lead source, and then I put in a date field for each of the stages in the buyer's journey, now, which you can then populate, including a date field for leaked. So if the opportunity only got as far as, in this case, column J, which is offer understood, and then leaked, we would record the date that we conceded defeat and this opportunity had leaked. Now here's the point. If the opportunity has not leaked, we want to calculate the lag. How long does it normally take for an opportunity to progress through each stage? Now the math for that, it looks a little weird, but it's actually not too weird. Basically, if this field, leaked, is blank, M2, if M2 is blank, then give me 
the difference between H2 and G2, well that is gap acknowledged and interest established. H2, G2, gap acknowledged, interest established, took 31 days. Now these are all uh, pretty close to months because I cheated and it's put in really simple dates here, but you get the idea. So if leaked is blank, it means it hasn't leaked and therefore it's still live, how long has it taken to move between each date? And up here, another little bit of geeky maths, again looks weirder than this. See, lag for interest established, 23. Lag for NG1, interest established. And then a bit of space, that's just the space. And then round down to zero decimals, the average of these values. And that's it. So a little bit of analysis lets you work out your lag and leakage by stage. Now, for leakage, basically you want to do some maths on, in this case we've had three opportunities of which one leaked at this stage, so our leakage rate would be 1 in 33 from that stage. That's it for the basic spreadsheet calculator. A uh, little insight into getting lag and leakage. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you. Um, I've put in filters here so that you can show this only by select salespeople or indeed by select sources. If you really want to do it in a spreadsheet, that's the way I would do it. If you do use a CRM, we can load that data from your CRM into your funnel plan, which means that we can compare, well, two things. We can actually show you some amazing insights from your CRM right inside funnel plan, but also it means that we can compare your plan to your actual, and that's quite powerful. We can identify the areas that you most need to focus on, and that means that the weekly coaching emails that you get for free in funnel plan can actually look at your actual data as well as your planned data and to highlight things that you might want to consider changing to improve the performance of your overall sales and marketing funnel. That's it for this week. I hope you had lots of fun. I did. Look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing. Thanks this week to Tyler Owen for research. Thank you for our contributors. Thank you, Annika Dobby, for production. My name's Hugh McFarlane, and it's been my absolute pleasure to script and present this week's show.